Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number 6, I believe, of the APA D-League, and we are up against Lynx. Now, uh, Lynx is a good friend. We have never had the opportunity to battle each other until now, and this is going to be a really fun match, I think. He had one of the toughest teams uh, that I had to build for, but I feel okay about this build. I'm not too, too sure what to think, really, but we do see uh, the Sandcore, the Mega Ampharos, Clefable, Machamp, uh, Stoutland, Tyranitar, and the Excadrill. Okay. So, right off the bat, what did he not bring? Did not bring the Jellicent, which is actually pretty huge. Did not bring the Alakazam, which I believe got three KOs in his last matchup. No Roserade is actually pretty huge. No Gligar is humongous. No Golbat is also gigantic. Alright, this is a very, very interesting matchup. This is a very, very interesting matchup. And I'm going to take a screenshot of the team before I forget. But, I don't know what I want to lead off with. Part of me wants to lead off with my Scarfed Togekiss. I could see him leading off with a Clefable. I could also lead off with a Dragology. I could also lead off with the, with the Dragology. I think that might be the play that I want to make here. Araquanid's also very viable lead here. Araquanid's also very viable. Hmm. Araquanid could be interesting here. I think I'm going to lead off with the Dragology instead, though. I think I'm going to just lead off with the Dragology. So, I had to invest into a pretty fast Dragology just to kind of... I invested enough speed in, in Dragology to outspeed, no speed, um, Tyranitar, which could be... I don't know. It's super dubious, in all honesty, but... Um, it does outspeed the Clefable all the time. It does outspeed uh, the Jellison, which he didn't bring. And I think those were the biggest things. And, and the Megamphros, of course. But, uh, there's the Dragology. does lead off with the with the Mega Ampharos. So I am Life Orbed with Dragon Pulse and I'm Life Orbed with Dragon Pulse and Adaptability. Uh, I should outspeed and Dragon Pulse should be a KO. Uh, assuming no bulk, but assuming max HP, it should still be with modest Adaptability Life Orb, it should still be a KO. Army just wants to go for it. I kind of think I will. I'm going to click Dragon Pulse. I'm going to see what happens. It does withdraw. So I still will get an, an adaptability life orbed Dragon Pulse off. I am really curious to see how much damage this will do. Tyranitar. Um, let's see. Tyranitar goes down to around 30%. So this is an interesting moment because I do have Focus Blast on this set, and I should theoretically, I should theoretically outspeed a no speed invested uh, Tyranitar. Um, so this is at least max HP for me to do about thirty percent with Dragon Pulse. This is actually reasonably, especially defensive. This, this actually might be max special defense, but Focus Blast should still KO in this situation. Part of me just wants to go for it. I'm not sure if this thing can Oko me. Stone Edge borders on a KO. Earthquake potentially. Let's see. That's This is also assuming like an, like an adamant Tyranitar. Earthquake. I'm going to click Focus Blast. We're going to see what happens. Goes for an Ice Beam. I think we take this okay. I think we take this okay. I really want to land this Focus Blast. Okay, we get frozen. Can we thaw? N nope, we're frozen. Okay. Alright, well. Um, who knows if we would have landed Focus Blast anyway, but that's pretty not great. I really do want to keep this around for the Clefable, if nothing else. Let me think this out. He could Pursuit. He could Pursuit. Uh, it doesn't look like he does as I go into my Bronzong here. Goes for another Ice Beam. This could be a fully special um, Tyranitar. Uh, he could have Dark Pulse, for sure. Let me think. Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, I think is a must against my team in general. Uh, what else would this thing run? Fire Blast, I guess? 
I guess. But yeah, again, this thing is pretty much max special defense. I'm pretty positive at this point. Earthquake is not doing nearly enough. I can potentially get rocks up for the for the rest of the match. I don't know what the play is here. I could try to chip this thing down with Earthquake right now. This thing could also be Z-Move. I don't think we've seen any type of item. Could be potentially Assault Vested? Hmm. Could be potentially Scar for all I know. It's only gone for Ice Beam twice. Huh. I don't know what to make of this. I think I'm going to click Earthquake. Earthquake should chunk this thing down, especially if it's not regaining HP through... Mm, that does a lot of damage. And I get the point. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Um... I think I just do. I probably just go with Dragology, right? Dragology, man, Dragology has to thaw. But if it thaws, then it can deal with the Clefairy, the Clefable potentially, and the Ampharos. Bronzong might be necessary. I could go into Togekiss, but I don't think even Scarfed or Sphere can really. Yeah, Scarfed or Sphere is not doing enough to such a strong Tyranitar. But if if all it has is Ice Beam, if it doesn't pack any Stab Rock moves, if the best thing can hit me with is Ice Beam, then we take that okay. But is that is that a risk I really want to take? Does this pack, does the thing pack some crazy Rock move? Um. I think that's... I think I just have to try and go for it. I think I just have to try and go for it. Let's see. Just goes for another Dark Pulse. The Sandstorm does go away, so it's not Smooth Rock. Well, it's probably... It's most likely Salt Vest, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I can uh, go with... I'm going to click Aura Sphere here. I'm going to click Aura Sphere here. Oh, now that the sand is gone, Aura Sphere should KO, actually, right? Yeah, Aura Sphere very potentially KOs here with no sand. That's purely judging based off of the damage output on my Dragology from earlier. Does withdraw. It'd be interesting. Goes into Clefable. That's fine. Um... What does this allow me to do? I think he tries to set up rocks in this situation. And I think I go into... I think I go into... Well, I go into either Bronzong or... No, Bronzong doesn't make any sense here. I go into, um, what is this thing called? Araquanid. Does go for the rocks. So that's okay for now. Um, this is a reasonably strong Araquanid. Let's see, I don't know. A max HP, this is assuming max defense Clefable. Even then, Liquidation should do around half. I could also set up rocks right now. Or not rocks. Set up webs right now. I don't think webs would help me out too, too much, though, in this situation. It could potentially open the door for my Necrozma to win in the later match. But even then, it feels super dubious to me. It feels super dubious to me. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I go for liquidation. Just try to get off as much damage as I can. Does withdraw. Uh, goes into Ampharos, which I don't think... Yeah, it, it never Mega Evolves, so it's not going to resist this first attack. And... 
Oof, that is very close to a straight Oko. And the defense drop, I think, pretty much ensures that a second hit will KO this thing. But regardless, I put enough speed into my Araquanid that it should always outspeed. I mean, max speed, max speed. Um, Ampharos never makes sense here, though. Actually, that damage could mean... Does that damage mean no bulk Ampharos? Or, is, or just Araquanid that just that strong? I think that might mean that he has some speed investment here. Potentially. I'm, I'm not too sure. But after it Mega Evolves, it loses speed, so it would still have to be reasonably speedy. I don't know what I do here. I'm going to click Liquidation, I think. I should take whatever this thing wants to go for. Thunderbolt potentially KOs, but that's pretty much absolute max roll, and switching this thing in and out is not going to do a whole lot for me. I guess it would be... No, I just clicked Liquidation. I'm super curious as to whether or not I, I outspeed this thing outright. It, it could be a super max um, speed like Ampharos, and I could be super wrong about this, but I did invest a bunch of speed into this thing. Does go for Thunderbolt. All right. Okay. Um. According to this damage calc, if I'm, if I'm looking at the correct thing, um, the only way that Thunderbolt KOs, even max 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 special attack modest, is with like literally the highest roll possible. Um. That's interesting. But regardless, this is a fast Ampharos. I think my play might just be to start trying to set up with the Krozma. I think I might just be at that point where I just try to start setting up with the Krozma. Actually, the fact that it's a specially defensive Tyranitar helps me out here because I can call mine up. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have to do this right now. I just click Calm Mind right now. So, here's the thing. I didn't invest any speed into my Necrozma, so this thing potentially outspeeds me. I mean, if it went, like, full max, max... Well, this thing has to be modest to in order to Oko my... My amp, my um, my Araquanids, so it can't be timid. Ampharos, Ampharos Mega, Ampharos Mega 252. Um, a modest Mega Ampharos can never outspeed Necrozma. Never outspeeds Necrozma. Does allow me to Calm Mind. Huh. Goes for Thunderbolt. I'm really curious to see this damage. Alright, does not do enough. I really want to click Moonlight now, but I think I have to click Calm Mind again. It... See, this set potentially wins, but the Tyranitar is going to be a huge, huge problem for me because even though I'm going to bulk up my special defense, um, it's going to be super problematic for me because I can't recover as much as I would normally with Moonlight because of the sand. Um, and Necrozma's only recovery moves are like sun-based moves. And, and honestly, if he paralyzes me, if, if he were to paralyze me right there and then outspeed me next turn, then that would be pretty much um, it for my Necrozma. But I have to just click Moonlight again, I think. I just have to click Moonlight again. Um, 
Tyranitar would be super problematic for me, but I, I also don't know at all what Tyranitar's speed is like in this situation. I am more or less max defense Necrozma, so I don't think, barring like any type of like super Iron Head flinch situations, I don't think um, Excadrill can 1v1 me. Um, and I'm pretty positive I could at the very least wait it out in sand, but I'm at plus two, so Earth Power should Oko at this point. I'm also super curious as to whether or not the Clefable is Magic Guard or Unaware. He could be thinking now that I am in a position where I have to Moonlight, and uh, he could be thinking about aggressively going into Tyranitar now. But, man, if that's the case, I would be right around... 50-ish percent. And I probably just have to continue to Calm Mind to try to... First of all, stall out Sand Turns. Does allow me to get the Moonlight off. Okay. Necrozma's just gonna be here. Um... If this thing does pair... That's a crit! Oh! That's a crit. All right. Okay. So I have a frozen Dragalge. I have a I have a critted Necrozma. A Bronzong that's chunked down after flinch, and an Araquanid that got 100% max roll. Like, literally, there is only one damage number that Oko's Araquanid from full. And, uh, he got that number. Alright. Alright. I have to think this through, I guess. I'm gonna go into Togekiss. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to, what to think here. My instinct is to say that Necrozma potentially wins? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I have to lock in Aura Sphere. I'm a Scarf Togekiss, again, by the way. Um, He might know that. He might go into... Oh, come on. Okay. I, I, was just, I was literally just about to say, he could, he could, go, he could go into Clefable here, but... Um, I could handle being hacked out, like, to no to heck and back, because, again, I'm pretty positive I can win this thing with Necrozma alone. But what I couldn't handle is if I get hacked out and 6-0'd in the same match. That would have been a step too far, I think. But, I'm relatively positive that I win this match if it weren't for that. For the stuff that went on. Um, I mean, to be fair, if he didn't get, if he never got the absolute max damage amount onto my, onto my Araquanid, then my Necrozma is never in a position to really, um, get to plus three anyway, so, I don't know. I don't know, man. This is just so bad. Like, this is actually really bad. And the thing is, if this Clefable is not here, then... My Chestnut, I think, potentially wins. My ch Well, my Chestnut has to be able to deal with the Tyranitar, so I guess the Tyranitar has to get out of the way first, um... Uh, because it can Ice Beam me, and that would be not great. But, oh, I just realized, I'm pretty positive that the Tyranitar would most likely be uh, Expert Belt, because it would really help out the matchups here, especially with a, with a, with a, um, with an offensive, with a special set, is what I meant to say. I'm gonna get Fire Blasted, there's, not, there's nothing I could do. Um, the best thing I could do is let Bronzong go down, Go into Dragology and hope that Dragology thaws. That is my only chance of breaking Clefable right now.
That is my only chance of breaking Clefable. And up goes into this thing. Um. All right, I do get the heavy slam off. I'm about to get crunched, which is not ideal. But um, I think. I think this just lets me, yeah, I'm, yeah, I think, I'm pretty positive he, he's about to crunch me, and if he does crunch me, then I just go in, I, I was gonna go into my chest not just now, but I think it'd be better off overall if I just go into, um, this thing, although now I put my Togekiss in a position where I can no longer switch in, but I know the Clefable's gonna come in, it is Life Orb, so that's, uh, interesting to note, but as much as I want to lock into Aura Sphere, I'm just going to lock into Air Slash because the Clefable is such an aggressive switch in that he does have available to him and I have been um, Aura Sphering so aggressively. I'm just going to have to try to do whatever I can do with uh, this Air Slash in a Dream. It does do a butt ton of damage. Also, can I point something else out? I would have been... I, I, I'm honestly still in, a, in an okay position if... If... Bulletproof. Oh, I might not have even given my, uh, my chest now bulletproof. I don't even, like, that's not something that I actively rem remember to give it, but, um, I'm kind of upset that bulletproof doesn't, um, counteract, that bulletproof doesn't counteract, um, Moonblast, because, in all honesty, it should. It should. Uh, I'm not gonna say I, I deserve that flinch, but I deserve that flinch. Um, again, I'm re I'm relatively positive that if this Clefable goes down, then Chestnut potentially walls off the rest of his team. Um, but the Clefable going down is actually genuinely huge. Um, because now I don't have to worry about my Dragalge doing anything, really. Um, my Dragalge's never in a position to really do anything in this situation, but... Um, I don't know, man. My Necrozma legitimately could have gone to plus six, I'm pretty sure. If he let me. I guess I had... I don't know. I guess I put myself out there. Like, that was a risk that I had to take, but... I don't know why I had to get crit in that situation, man. I don't know why I had to get crit in that situation. I don't know. Super upsetting. Um, I do still have my my scarped air slash. His best play. I mean, he could just go into into Tyranitar at this point. I don't think there's any downside to, into to going into Tyranitar right now. Um, Tyranitar for sure eats up an air slash. Um, air slash should still take it down below fifty percent. Goes into Machamp. Okay. Um, I can't come back in on Rock, so I have no reason to switch out, and I'm scarfed into Air Slash anyway. Um, that was almost an OK. But yeah, I never. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um. I think I have to go into Chestnut here. I think I have to go into Chestnut here. And Chestnut is not the best thing to go to even go into right now because um I don't know. I don't know how much speed he's running on his Pokémon because Ampharos was pretty fast, and Tyranitar had some speed investment as well, so he's not really, like, max HPing his mons, or anything like that, or he's not really bulking out his mons or speed creeping, I don't think. So, I only built my Chestnut, I only designed my Chestnut to, to, um, my Chestnut doesn't really, um, outspeed anything, inherently. And I took off Spiky Shield for Spikes, um, which I am kind of regretting now, but if this thing has no speed investment, then 
then I drain punch and I KO here. If it does, if it does have speed investment, then I'm in a bad position. Okay. Goes on a Tyranitar. I mean, I click drain punch. I don't know. I don't know what to make. Maybe expecting me to click spiky shield. Maybe he's doing this just to get max turns onto. Maybe he's doing it to get max turns onto Excadrill. But that puts me at full, and Excadrill, this is a max defense Tyranitar, so I, Excadrill can't really do much. Um, I guess I should be concerned about Zen Headbutt on Stoutland. I'm pretty positive that's a move that that thing gets, right? Right? I mean, like, I don't want to assume anything. Yeah, this thing has to have Zen Headbutt, right? No, it doesn't get Zen Head, but what does it get? Fire Fang? Oh, Play Rough. Play Rough, Play Rough, Play Rough. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, uh, we know this thing is Life Orb. We know this thing is Life Orb. And what is Play Rough doing? Does. Play Rough should do. Should not do more than half ish. It does around half ish. Life Orb, Adamant Max Attack is around half. And I should recover about a quarter from Drain Punch. I guess I click Drain Punch. I don't know, man. Oh, it just goes for a turn. It's also not Max Happiness. I don't know. I don't know what to make of just what happened right now. I don't know. I'm confused. I mean, extra draw comes in. Um, extra draw comes in, and Drain Punch does a lot of damage, and I recover enough damage where even if it has Poison Jab. Which I'm pretty positive is the only move that it can hit me with, unless he wants to Iron Head flinch me. Uh, Link's already said GG in the Discord. Oh, it goes into this. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Um, I guess now I see how uh, if I outspeed this thing, but it could if it fire punches me, then that would be genuinely bad. Oh, I really, mm, I really should have sacked off. Um, I really should have sacked off. Uh. Um, what's that thing called? Bronzong in that situation. I could have just switched into Bronzong. Let Sand take out this, um, let Chestnut, sorry, let Bronzong take the hit, and then, uh, the Machamp go down to, Machamp go down to Sand. Uh, how many turns are left of Sand? Potent yeah, two turns left of Sand, and I just clicked Rain Punch. I don't really know... What to say? What to do? I don't know. I'm confused. He's trying to flinch me. Um, well, there's the first flinch. Um. There's the first flinch. Do I just sack off? Okay, I'm gonna do this. This should be the last turn of sand. And letting my chest not take unnecessary damage is not ideal. So, um, goes for Shadow Claw. So he expected me to want to go into, into, um, Bronzong there? I'm not too, too sure. But that lets me go back into chest not. And I think I have to click Synthesis now. I should take one hit and I should be able to click Synthesis. If I don't flinch. Please don't flinch. Goes for Shadow Claw. Maybe thought I was baiting him. I don't know. Oh, that doesn't that can't flinch me anyway, so I didn't have to worry about anything. I don't know. 
I'm gonna have to ask him whatever happened after this match, but, um... I... am glad that I got this win. I'm glad that I got the win. I'm not too, too sure what happened. I would've... I mean, like, best case scenario, I would've 100% preferred that Necrozma got those six KOs that, honestly, Necrozma pretty much deserved, but, um... Regardless, Chestnut was a monster. That's a crit. Uh, it is a high crit ratio move. Uh, I'm gonna get a bunch of HP back from Drain Punch. I mean, I don't know what's happening. He's not even playing to his out of flinching me down. He could potentially flinch me down, but he's choosing not to, so... Regardless, I just clicked Drain Punch one last time. Maybe he still wants to flinch me out from full HP, but... Um... He just goes for another Shadow Claw. That's gonna be the match. I guess we come out with the win. Uh, like I said... I really wanted to give ne Necrozma his due, but uh, Chestnut came in, kept up the slack um, after Clefable went down. That's going to be pretty much how it ends. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon. And I really just want to talk to Lynx, figure out whatever the heck just happened. But uh, yeah, with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the MPL and APA and other stuff in the in the future really really soon once again thank you guys so much for watching gonna be once again out